feeling surrounded by evil? Take heart from those who've gone before us and call on the name of the Lord. He will deliver because he's an ever-present help in times of trouble. Top of the morning to you. Have you ever felt surrounded by evil? There are many instances of God's people surrounded by evil in the Bible. The evil men of Sodom surrounded Lot, his family, and a couple of angels, Genesis 19.4. Jehoshaphat was surrounded, 2 Chronicles 18.31. Samson was surrounded in Judges 16.2. A Levite and his traveling companions were surrounded by perverted men in Judges 19.22-29. David wrote a whole psalm about his experience of being surrounded by floods of ungodliness and the fear of death in Psalm 18. Even Jesus was surrounded in Psalm 22:16. The dogs, they've surrounded me. The congregation of the wicked enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. So in these last days when evil seems to abound and surround us, we can learn a lot about how to respond from these Bible figures. Jehoshaphat cried out, and the Lord helped him by diverting them from him. David called upon the Lord, Psalm 18, 6, and God heard him. In verse 16, delivered David from this strong enemy. Well, why did God uh, deliver David from this? Verse 19, he delivered me because he delighted in me. Verse 21, for I have kept his ways, the ways of the Lord. Verse 23, I keep myself from iniquity or sin. Verse 24, therefore the Lord paid me back according to my righteousness, a right standing with him. David explains in, 18, in Psalm 18, 25, God's nature is to be merciful to those who are merciful. Verse 27, saving those who are humble and bringing down the proud. This emboldened David so much in Psalm eighteen twenty nine. he felt he could run through an army and he could leap over a wall because verse 32, it is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. Verse 39, God arms him with strength for the battle and he subdues those who rose up against him. Verse 48, God delivers him from his enemies by lifting him up above those who come against him. In Psalm 118, 14, David declares, the Lord is my strength and song and he has become my salvation. Verse 15, the right hand of the Lord does valiantly. David's experiences make him declare in Psalm 32, 7, <clears throat> You are my hiding place. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with songs of deliverance. Words of encouragement. God is no respecter of men. Psalm 126, 12 says the Lord surrounds his people from, the, from this time forth and forevermore. So when it feels like evil is all around us, just waiting to attack, Realize this truth in Hebrews 12.1. We are surrounded, surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us and run with endurance the race that is set before us. Verse 22, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Have a great day.